Greetings, fellow Freethinkers. The event you're about to watch was hosted by the Center for Inquiry, an educational and outreach organization dedicated to defending and promoting science, reason, secularism, and free inquiry in every area of human endeavor. My name is Justin Trasse, and as Executive Director of CFI Canada, I would like to take a moment to tell you a bit about us. CFI Canada currently incorporates CFI Communities for Inquiry in Calgary, Montreal, and Vancouver. Over 30 affiliated student organizations from coast to coast, and of course our headquarters here at the Centre for Inquiry Ontario. CFI Ontario, located in the heart of downtown Toronto, is the first Canadian branch of CFI and is the first dedicated event and meeting space for all humanists, skeptics, and freethinkers in the nation. Our mandate encompasses a robust public education series, campus outreach to a growing network of student free thought groups, community outreach and social services to provide secular and humanist alternatives to religiously monopolized services and activities, and a lending library and media center that, among other things, broadcasts videos like this across the planet. To learn more, please visit us at www.cfiontario.org. To get on our email list or to learn how you can support our movement, such as by becoming a friend of the center, a CFI donor, a volunteer, or to launch or affiliate a new campus or local group, contact us today at Ontario at centerforinquiry.net. That's C-E-N-T-E-R. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the video. Just before we begin, I'm just going to say a couple welcome words and uh, a couple things about CFI, which is where you are. My name is Katie. I'm the assistant director here. Usually Justin does this spiel, but Justin's in Ottawa uh, at the new, cent new community that's opened up there. Uh, so if you don't know about CFI, we're a nonprofit organization dedicated to science education uh, and interested in inquiry of paranormal, uh, religion, and somewhat, as I like to call, sketchy claims. Uh, we just investigate those and look into them and try to find some truth behind them. Uh, we recently launched the Campaign for Free Expression, which uh, the next big event will be the popular atheist and science blogger P.Z. Myers. If you're interested in seeing that, we have tickets available. That's on October 31st. Uh, you can talk to either myself or Shadi or John, who's behind the camera. One of us will give you any information you need to know, or you can go to cfiontario.org. You can buy the tickets online. Uh, we've also been expanding, as I said. Justin's in Ottawa. We just uh, did the inaugural in Calgary. Uh, we have a new community that opened in Vancouver, so we're spreading across Canada, which is great to see. But that's enough rambling about CFI. You're all here to see the uh, extremely mental James this. Um, he has done, the, the show you're going to see is uh, snippets of his show Mind Blowing, which he has done all over the world. So tonight he's going to present selections from that. And uh, I saw it, and it's, it seriously messes with your head, uh, and it's entertaining. Um, so first he's going to take us into the deceptive world of, of, of mentalism and kind of show us different things and confuse you and then after a short break he is going to break it apart a little and not give away everything that you would wish he would give away but uh, he'll give away a little bit uh, to keep you to keep you curious and he'll, he'll expand and he'll go into the psychology and the mythology and everything behind kind of what he's doing um, so and he's also traveling to London soon to, uh, to promote and launch his new book which is called uh, ex uh, mind blowing Yes, mind-blowing. All right, so without further ramblings from me, uh, here is the extremely mental James Biss. Thank you, James. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. I have to share with you that last night I was at York University, and uh, it was very unsettling. Just before I started performing, I went into the men's room, and over the urinal, I'm not making this up, over the urinal was this picture. And I have to share with you, it's very unsettling to look up at yourself and see your head upside down standing in the It's very, very odd. I want to share that little moment with you because it was a... Uh, there you are. And, and, and it was just kind of a weird thing for me. So, uh, welcome and good evening. And I'm going to project, because I'm used to projecting, if you don't mind, because i got to move around and there wasn't a wireless lab available. Are you good with that, my friend in blue? You're good? Can you hear me okay? Oh, I can hear fine. Oh, I was advocating on the uh, oh, behalf no. of people who can't hear. And a big round of applause for our right advocate. I'm going to project, though, because I'm used to doing that, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm a pretty good projector, not like in a you know, film sense, but a projector sense. And so if at any point I lose you or whatever, uh, just wave your hands or whatever. 
The point of this evening, I think, is to really explore a very big question. The question for me is, how mental can you get? And I want to do that in a kind of a funky, kind of a fun way, because frankly, having met some of you already, I have to say that many of you have demonstrated to me that you are psych psychic, psychic in a, in a very real way. And, and I think uh, it, it's obvious, I can read your minds, there's no doubt of that in my mind anyway, but I thought I'd just turn things sort of upside down a little bit and, and turn the tables a little bit and see whether perhaps you can pick up my thoughts. And, and I, I thought a little warm-up activity to get things rolling. I arranged to have little pieces of paper and pencils in your vicinity. And, and it's a very big budget show, and you, you can keep the pencils. Um, uh, uh, my sponsor, Staples, has their, uh, their name written all over them, and, and you can use the pencils and papers. And I want you to grab your contra pencil and paper, and uh, we'll try something really simple as a bit of a warm up exercise. Good evening, my friend. Your first name is? You look very comfortable on the couch. My, my, what was your name, my friend? Janina. I have to know that because you look so comfortable back there. It's fantastic. Can you hear me okay, Janina? You'll be like my, my little barometer. If, you, if I start to lose a little bit, you can do a little thumbs up or thumbs down. How am I doing so far, Janina? Nice. Janina's impressed. I'm done at the end. That's fantastic. Well, here's the deal. With that little piece of paper and pencil, I see most of you have them. Uh, I'll start with a very simple test. I'm going to send out to you two simple geometric shapes, one within the other, like a, like a square within a rectangle, but, but not those two things. I'm going to send out two geometric shapes, one without, within the other. I've drawn them on my card. On the count of three, I'm going to send them out to you. I'd like you to draw what's appearing in your mind. One, two, three. Follow your instincts and draw those two simple shapes, one within the other, right now, please. Remember, there are no wrong answers, just wrong thinking people. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Follow your instincts. And when you're done, put your pencils down. That's kind of the, the teacher in me. We're all good. I was thinking of a triangle within a circle. By any chance, put your hands up if you're going to a triangle or a circle. Or by the reverse, that happens sometimes. What are the hands going up? Clearly, clearly a very intellectual crowd. Very unusual. Now, I want you to some of you got it backwards, which is kind of a right brain, left brain thing, whatever that means. But, that, but you know, we'll come back to that. I, I wasn't going to do this, but clearly this is a, an unusually gifted group. Um, and I mean that like in a special, like extra special people, you know, like not special like you come in a small bus. It's like special that you maybe have some sort of interesting ability. So let me just try, you know, I'm going to send out two simple pictures. Two simple, don't draw anything out. I haven't sent it yet. Something like, you start to do predictions on this later. This is telepathy. Work with me. Here's the deal. I'm going to send out two simple pictures, one beside the other. Like a, like a smiley stick man or a, or a little sailboat or something, but not those two things. I'm going to draw two simple pictures. Let me finish first so there's no, you know, wizardry do going on. All right, I've drawn my two simple pictures. On the count of three, I want you to follow your instincts and draw those two simple pictures, one beside the other. One, two, three, go. Santa's here this evening. That's fantastic. Here we go. Draw those, draw those two simple pictures, one beside the other. And when you're done, again, put your pencils down. Are we all done? Starting with the Mona Lisa or something. <laughs> here we go. I drew a house and a tree. By any chance, can anybody pick up a house or a tree? Put your hands up. Look at the hands going up. Look at the hands going up. This is very unusual. This is very unusual. No, it isn't. I'm used to performing. I got to, I'm used to performing for, you know, like, uh, you know, drum and stuff. I don't think so. Do you know these people? I don't know these people. He's saying, are they all relatives? This drum is wearing a hearing aid, which psychics use all the time for secret information. Who knows what's happening in my ears, my friend, except some potatoes or something. No, 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 no. He's wearing the hearing aid, and he's accusing me of having some, you know, people in the audience helping me out. No, I don't. Does anyone know? Actually, some of you do know me, but you guys are you're, you're here to, you know, for fun. But, but Sarah, this is a very unusual experiment. I, I, that my friend, your first name is? Ed. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Ed is a bit skeptical. But, you know, it is this kind of place. I mean, I'm standing in front of pictures of Bertrand Russell and George Carlin and my hero Carl Sagan, and it's a skeptical crowd, so I would expect you to be a little bit anxious. My last name is Skeptic. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Okay. All right, so what I'd like to try and do, just to sort of ease his anxiety, is try a little experiment under sort of test conditions, because 
I don't believe that I'm any more psychic than you are. In fact, honestly, I think you're as psychic as I am. So I'm thinking that...